Okay, you're here because you want to create a website similar to this for your digital product. It's easier than you think using HTML and CSS. This is the website we'll be hopefully trying to recreate today, but who knows things might go wrong. I'm not going to be using the font actually used on this website or the image, but everything else should look as close to the original thing as we can. So let's get started. So we just go to our index.html and we can just type in exclamation mark, which is an image abbreviation. It will automatically create an HTML document. And we can just give this a title of our, if I could type our product, like so. Um, we'll need to include a style. style sheet, I think, like so, oh uh, no, that, I got used to Python syntax, uh, and then we type in, nope, or we can always go to this one right here, and just go to here, and give it a, st this, so it's an href, instead, so, link and just give it style.css like so now that should that should work hopefully um so on our page we have this thing up here that says find your utilities so we can just go ahead and do um an h1 that says find your utilities let's just call it find your product like so now I actually forgot to open the HTML file we'll be recreating today in Brave, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so now we should have it opened up in Brave. Just reload it, and now it says "Fun Your Product." That font's ugly, so let's go into our style sheet, and in our thing we'll be recreating today, we can see it's all under the same thing. It's not actually a different type of each one so we'll so we'll just go to our style sheet and give it each one and the things we need to copy are our color and our list style is circle so we'll just go to our style type in color and then just give it this color right here by control c control v the classic programmer keyboard and then we'll give it a list style of none, or circle, not none. I mean, it depends on what you want to do with it. Let's just go ahead and do the P, uh, each one. I need proper formatting. Uh, H2, H3, LI, wait no, U, L, and LI. There we go. So now that should work. No, it's barely bi barely visible, sorry. So let's just go up to here and give it body. Let's change its color. This is to be its color. I don't feel like typing that, so I'm just gonna give it, just copy and paste it. Its hex code is hashtag 1E272E if you wanna copy that for yourself. It's a very pretty color for dark mode websites. And now we have this nice gorgeous background. But on this page here, you can see that we have a score vignette. And you might or might not want that depending on your website. So, but if you do, you can just type in div and give this a class. And let's just call it vin. I think that's how it's spelled. Vignette, like so. Nothing will be in this class though. So, we'll, so we can just go ahead and go to our Vin, hold on. Vin, vignette, like so. And then, as we can see here, we have all this garbage. <laughs> so I'm actually just going to copy this all. But essentially, what we're doing is giving it no pointer events, so we can still use buttons. We're setting its position fixed, so it takes up the entire screen. We're saying gets top position to zero, it's left position to zero, 
It's width to 100%, so it always takes up as much as it can. It's height to 100%, and the box shadow is the actual vignette part of it. So we can just save both of those, go here, and then we can see that we have our vignette. But this font's still kind of ugly. So we can just go to our body up here and give it a font family. I'm just going to use Arial. Just minimize that, like so. Now we have some fun new product, like so. So, next thing we'll have is this icon. I think I used a 512 by 512 image. If it not, then it was probably a 1024 by 1024 image. But, uh, I just used a a image class and give it fun newberg utilities icon and source and give it an image of png so we can i'm not actually going to use any images uh we can just give it source of hashtag image path here we'll give it an alt <coughs> a product icon like so and then a uh, class and just give it product logo like so <coughs> and we should be able to go to our product and see that there's supposed to be a product icon here but uh, for some reason it's appearing in black so let's just go and fix that using an uh, image as well but uh, on our on this, if you're using, I can't remember the size, but uh, if you're using a image to a similar size, I chose a width and, and height of 15%, so it got shrunk down to this size, like so. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, and you can just go ahead and save this as well. Now it's actually wide, like so. So the next thing we need on our website is all this stuff down here, which I believe those are P's, yep, those are paragraphs, like so, so we can just make some indents, and then we can give it a P, give it a class of extra info, and we'll see why later down the line, and then we can give this, this, program is still in testing testing like so we can now go back to our website and see that it says this up here but we have no styling so let's just give it a class of dot extra info I haven't been looking at the camera that much but uh, I'm here it's been a while since I've played a face cam video. Um, we'll just give it a font style of italic, like so. Go back up to here. Now it's italic, which is actually what we want. Because on the regular website, it's italic. Um, let's just add that little thing to that. I don't know what's right there. Okay, now we. Now it pretty much looks the same, both websites. Um, we'll, we'll just put a regular P down here, like so. Uh, we'll say, um, uh, the use is our program we made, and program creation name here, creator name here, like so, or just some other miscellaneous info like that. So now it pretty much looks the same. Uh, then we need this list of everything that's included. So I used an unordered list item for that. I can just put some P's inside it. Li. Nope. And then just put a P inside it. Uh, let's just 
put program one uh, li program two and then just one more like so p program three or yeah three like so and then we have our list elements we don't have a ton over it now so I can just add that in using I think it's a nope it's just a paragraph okay so I'll just add a p and say our program includes includes like so and now we have that down there and now we need the download area Um, so I still just used an unordered list element. I believe that's in H2. Uh, yep, that's in H2. So we'll just enter a couple times like so. H2. And then we'll just say downloads like so. And then give it an unordered list. List. Oi. Like so. We'll put in an A. Um, Let's just give it to hashtag download underscore windows or something. Something generic like that. Uh, windows. And then we can give it another one. I'm not going to be adding the one one as it's a waste of time. Maybe like so. Give it an href of hashtag um, down load underscore mac underscore os like so and just unload mac os like so and now we should see this down here it's ugly no one still click on that link they'll think it's sketchy so we can change the colors like we did here I think I used a flat UI color palette, which are some amazing color palettes. This video is not sponsored. I'm just telling you that flat UI colors is a good website to get free color palettes from. And it's the same website I used to get these color palettes from. So if you're ever in need of a color palette, just go flat UI colors. Um, again, not sponsored. So I'm, I'm not getting paid to say that. I just really like flat UI colors. But uh, back to the video, we have our, we have everything set up. Links are ugly though. They're ugly. No one's still click on it. So we can get around that by going to our style. Style A. And we actually have some text decoration, some colors, and some font sizes that make it look really pretty. So we'll just go to A here. I'm actually just to copy and paste all this. I'll tell you what it does in a second. So the text decoration is removing that ugly underline. The color, which has a hex code of hashtag 0FBCF9. It's a really pretty color for links. And the font size, of, font size of 26 pixels, which makes it stand out just a little bit more on the page. So if we save that, we can just go back to our Brave browser or your Chrome or your Firefox, or your Opera. No one cares what type of browser you're using. Not That's not an insult. Your website doesn't care what type of browser you're using. Okay, now we have our links that look a little bit better, but they don't really feel responsive. Like, not responsive as in they skip with the page, but responsive as in you hover over them and something happens. So we can do that by adding an A hover event. So, and I misspelled hover. <laughs> it's hove, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and then we can just copy and paste this. It's a font size of 30 pixels and a text decoration of an underline, just to make it stand out some more. We can go back to our browser, and now we can get this nice, gorgeous, responsive feel. And it looks very similar to this over here. Mm. The, the final thing we need is the extras down here. 
so we can do that by going into our index.html file create another h2 and call it extras extras like so get an unordered list going get an li going like so and get an a going and nest a button inside that it's probably not the best way to do it but whatever and then we can just say extra info extra info we can give an href of hashtag hashtag extra info so like so and give this an li like so we'll give it an a now I've encountered an error sometimes where VS Code will say button cannot be nested inside of an, a link, but it works, it works. There's no need to fix it if it isn't broken. Um, so, back to what I was talking about, where I'm just continuing this list and just do a button and just say, let's just give it .io. Page. So if you have an itch.io page, you can link it to GitHub or whatever you want. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, so we can just give it an href of hashtag GitHub underscore page. Like so, we can go back to here. Like so, buttons. Uh, these buttons are ugly. No one still click on them. They look like Windows 95 buttons. You click on these, it probably don't get virus. <laughs> um, that that last one was a joke. Um, but we need to style these buttons, or otherwise no one still click on them. So in order to do that, we can just go to our style.css. I actually want to make sure something. Yeah. So we have all these special things here. Oh, we can just go into our regular style.css. And do insert it there. Button like so. So we're changing the font size to 14 pixels. We're setting a background color. We're giving it a pointer cursor and the border of none. I'll probably also change padding or something as well. But that just gives it a more responsive feel. But we also, I believe we have button hover. Yep, we have button hover. So we'll just go there and button hover like so and then all we're really doing in button hover is changing the font size to 18 pixels and giving it a text decoration of the underline like so so now we have this nice responsive fill so we've pretty much recreated my fun uber utility site which you can go check out by the way not sponsored i mean it is sponsored because fun uber is uploading this video and not and I own the utilities package, but uh, um, go go check it out. Why not? Um, but uh, we've recreated this website pretty much. We have our testing stuff. We have our this program we made. And just more information. What our program includes: a downloads area and an extras area, and also a product icon. Now you probably still want to give your a website a fave icon, I think that's how you pronounce it. And we just g do that by going into the header up here, typing get in. Wait a minute, it's a link. Yeah, you type in link, close that off, type in rel, and then just do icon and then name here like so so I'm actually just going to show you so we can just do link fill icon and then we just give it an href of hashtag icon and then just give it a alt I think no, you can't give it an alt okay. that should work no it doesn't but if we actually inspect element we can see that we don't actually have an image anywhere so it can't work but if you do have an image it works pretty much the same way but uh 
we recreated my Fun Uber Utilities website was actually is actually easier than I actually thought to be honest to recreate. Uh, so if you liked, liked. If you dislike, dislike. If you want to subscribe or feel like supporting me, go ahead and subscribe. And if you're feeling extra spicy, go ahead and ring that bell. It always helps to get notified when you when new content comes out. I'm gonna be uploading more HTML and CSS content in the future, so stay around for that. Um, I went through subscribe, like, all that jazz. Um, so, uh, Funnyber out.